I've been evicted, all right? Hello, welcome to Big Brothers Little Brother. You're all very well. It's day 59, the beginning of the end for the housemates. Uh, and the final week, of course, in the Big Brother house. Friday night was eviction night, a modern day Romeo and Juliet, the separation of the two lovebirds. A plague, a plague, a plague on both their houses. Uh, Paul got a resounding 84% of the vote, which was the same percentage as Josh and indeed Stuart. It's not fixed though. <laughs> and uh, after surviving four evictions, he was finally given the boot from the house. Uh, he'll be joining us live in a couple of minutes. But uh, now it's over to you as to who you want to win. No more voting out. You simply vote now uh, who you think should win the cash. The housemate with the least votes will be evicted on Thursday night. The best thing about the whole thing being they don't know it yet. Uh, three will remain for the final fight. But Friday night's eviction was the most emotional yet. Uh, Paul looked genuinely gobsmacked as he was leaving, and Helen, just as those two lads, looked lost without him. That's my dad! Oh, Come on! Nice. Oh, sweetie! Oh. Come on, H! Come on! Oh, I Mate. feel really, really bad. Oh. Nice. Oh, wonder. This has been the most amazing experience ever. Absolutely amazing. No, I mean, what can I say? Absolute star. Just totally and utterly fell for your personality. I miss you. I miss you, mate. Nice. I can't believe the Big Brother has... Oh, thank you. Oh, Get on. Go on, Sharp and sweet. In five minutes. Cheers! Yes. Oh, yes. See you later. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, lovely. Why don't you a big TV screen there, oh, Anthony, so you can see mm -hmm. people? Yes, they do, Brian. He's flirting with the Welsh hairdresser, had us chewing at our duvets in the middle of the night, and they seem desperate them, uh, for them to bump lips, but Helen and Paul simply didn't get it. Unbelievable. Now, they've been parted and Paul's got the world and the girls at his feet. It's to find, find out whether he feels the same. It's the grower, not the shower. Please welcome Paul Clark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Right there, how are you? How are you? All right. Join me. Thank you very much, ladies. Loving your work. Adoring your tattoo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm good. Very well. Okay, excellent. Very, very well. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Yeah. Friday night, you looked totally overwhelmed uh, and freaked out. To say the least. Ha yeah, has it, I was. All, has it at all sunk in yet? Uh, it's going to take a long time. Um, a long time to sink in. I think that um, I wasn't, just wasn't expecting what's happened. Uh, what we, were you expecting? I didn't know what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting to come out maybe to a couple of people, yeah. and those people were my family. Uh, I wasn't expecting to go down that runway and loads of people being there. Um, the fact that people shout your name and that is just completely overwhelming mm. uh, and really, really scary. When I saw my friends in the studio and they just all came running out, jumping. There that, were legions of them. There were, down, there were. They? And I saw them and my whole head just went. I thought it was gonna, my head was going to roll off my shoulders. <laughs> I really, literally, I was just amazed and stunned and they all done me proud. Mm. Cool. As okay, that. let's get cracking. Uh, you know what we're going to talk about. The whole world uh, will be asking you these questions in the next six yeah. months, so you yeah. better get used to it. Friday night, you said you fancied that. You wait for her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have your feeling changed now you've been back in the real world? No, my feelings haven't changed at all. Uh, I still feel exactly the same way as when I left the house. Um, in what all exactly fairness. was that? What is that? Um, the way I felt was that if I looked at her when I walked through the door, um, I thought I was going to be over overwhelmed with emotion, to be fair, so that's why I didn't. Uh, it was like a real it was hilarious, quick goodbye, I, yeah, but I, uh, it, it was I didn't want it to be. You were such a player, though, because you, the way you, when you walked out, everyone was like, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you. And it's like, so like, see you, mate. I'm off. I just, yeah, I didn't mean it to be like that. I mean, no. if I would literally, the way I felt, I just wanted to grab her mm. and just give her a big kiss. Mm. That is the way I felt, but I couldn't do it. And the uh, most important thing at the time was just seeing my mates and my family. Yeah. So I just like to put my mind sort of in that mode, walk out and just enjoy it. 
So, I mean, and don't lamp me for this because I didn't write this question, but was it the case that you're in there with, you know, nine other people, whatever, and, and girls, best of a bad bunch? Or, um, I only mean that in the, in the way that, you know, when you, you're in such a concentrated yeah, environment yeah. and so forth, yeah. did you just figure out the person you fancied most? That wasn't the way. No, that wasn't the way it happened. <laughs> I, I mean, I figured, I, I figured out that kind of way when I came in. It was I wanted to find someone who I got with really well, mm -hmm. and initially it was Penny. Immediately, I mean, and then of course Elizabeth. Incredible, character, and then I moved through <laughs> all of them. So, but uh, no, that wasn't the way it was. Uh, I think you know that pretty much my emotions that happened on there were real emotions, and it was something that cr was created with a matter of time. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't fancy Helen from day one. I really, really didn't. Um, and it was kind of strange the way it all occurred and kind of nice in a way that I fell for her personality more than her looks mm. and then you end up loving the whole person. Um, oh. Which was really, really sweet. <laughs> you just said the word loving. <laughs> loving, not in love. Oh, not in love. Not like I love no. my mum. Yeah, I love <laughs> Not like you. No, I don't know your mum. Uh, <laughs> I can't make that comparison. Well, OK. Uh, now, stories and press on Off Girlfriend before you went in. On off girlfriend before I went in, mm -hmm. nah. and she came down a Friday. Is that true or not? No, nah, absolutely not true. Um, I literally, I had a girl I was seeing for a period of time, um, for about a month and a half, and then we stopped stopped seeing each other, and that happened a good two months before I came in. She came down on Friday, did she? No, she wasn't even here. All right, she on. wasn't even here, and not even in this country. So. The You'll find there'll be about six about. or seven of them now coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, right, yeah. Days. But we were yeah. seeing each other. And you go, no, I don't believe we were. <laughs> OK, uh, if you'd known Big G had dumped Helen whilst you were in the house, first of all, you shocked about that when, when Davina told you Friday? Um, I think I was massively shocked because the number one thing I didn't want to do was compromise Helen's position. Mm. That what, Helen, to me, I cared about her so much, even if I wasn't in the picture, I wanted her to be happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if that meant keeping Big G, then that was my goal. I wanted her to keep Big G. I mean, many times... You, said, you, you didn't get off with her. No, no, so, no, I didn't. And that, didn't that was, I made a pact to myself, though. I had to make a pact to myself that I wasn't going to do that. That must have been so hard. Yeah, yeah, really, <laughs> really hard. Um, when was the hardest moment? When did you think, this is going to happen, this is going to happen? I think the hardest moment for me was every time I had to try and pull myself away from her, yeah. and I'd done it a lot. Um, Times when you do realise that two people fancy each other, yeah, and you're, you're on top of each other, like the ice cream thing. The dead action, that. baby, the, the dead. Den, every, there were so many things where we just, it was just massive flirting, and it got to a point where we just couldn't stop touching each other, and that is what happened. It was hilarious. And it escalated very quickly. Yeah. Because it really did, I mean, it sort of built up, and it was kind of, you know, bubbling, and then suddenly it was wham, you know? Yeah, it, it was like that. It was, it was strange, but then again, it escalated quickly at the end, but it was something that was brewing for a long, long time. Okay, was the big G situation, like, almost an excuse for you, for you able not to go further, you know, you know make, you, uh, make you feel better about no, it, if you weren't it. completely sure, or...? OK, it wasn't an excuse. I think uh, it was really the fact that I found out, and you could tell with Helen, the, the fact that she really liked me, she was giving me, like, in the end, those, all this sort of stuff, and touching me as well, and when she was doing that, that was feeling nice, because you're in there for a long period of time, you haven't had the TLC for mm -hmm. ages, the numbers diminish, you get to know someone really, really well. And so, therefore, because of that, when she was... But what happened was, from what I saw... <laughs> from what you saw, yeah. Was, was, no, but you were always very keen on each other, and she turned around and, and not so many words, said, I like you. Yes, and she did. And I, yeah. I want to get it on with you. Yes, now, she, she would have probably um, kissed you in the house. Yeah, yeah. What... And, and, and you, I think you obviously felt that, and you backed yeah. off a little bit. Mm. Why? Um, I had to back off, uh, purely because... I realise it is an unreal situation in there. Um, and if something was happening to me and Helen, then it's got to happen in the real world. Um, and therefore, I don't think she sort of saw that 100%. And mm -hmm. I think it was for me to make the decision, to make the pact that, no, we're not going to allow this to happen. And I've done it for her sake as well as mine. Of course, now you've got the weird situation where you come out, and when she comes out, and it's not going to be a real situation either, to a degree. No, it's not for not. a while, at least, because you're just going to. You're, there's, there'll be this big media hyperbole still around. Yeah, you. but I, I, I said in there, um, and it's now I've come out. It's like a well famous thing. You live your life, I live mine, and that is what I meant by that. You've got to come out, and you've got to enjoy the experience. You've got to enjoy your family, friends. Go yeah. back to Wales, yeah. do your thing. I've got to go and do my thing. That doesn't mean I'm going to do my thing and go with other girls and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, and stuff. Um, but, it, but it just means that we've got to enjoy it. And then after that period of time when it all settles down, if she's thinking about me and I'm thinking about her, then we've got to find each other up, haven't we? Sure. And sort that out. What are out. your expectations? 
Um, the way I feel at the moment, um, I still feel the same as when I left the house. You know, I do, I do fancy the girl a lot. Um, I care about her, and I watched Big Brother for the first time last night um, in the room, and that was very emotional for me. And seeing Helen was very, very weird. And seeing me with Helen, but me not being there, you know, it yeah, was yeah, me on yeah. TV, and that was yeah. that was freaky as well. So I wasn't prepared for any of this, and that's the key thing. It must I just have been so prepared. emotional watching it. Very emotional. I, I felt I cried last night for about an hour. Did you? And not just over Helen, over the whole yeah. thing that's happened to me. Do you think with the, with the cooling off period, you'll sort of you'll get a bit of objectivity about the whole thing, and then you'll be able to sort of like approach it quite cautiously with her? Yes. Yeah. That's what, that's what I want to happen. I, yeah. I, want it, I, I want it. I know it might sound really really weird, but I want it to cool down. I haven't even expected. I haven't See, even walked so on the street yet. It is strange, but. For, from that point of view, I want it to cool down so that we can just go to a bar or something and have a chat. I know at the moment that would be impossible um, because, you know, your face and her face is just on everything. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be really, really tough. Sure. OK, now, all these nominations, you're going to nominate four weeks in a row, five times in total. Yep. <laughs> you just must have been freaking out in there, I mean, about your popularity within the house. And at the same time, you must have been buoyed by the fact that every single week you weren't getting voted out. Yeah, uh, I think you, you mix emotions. You're like, wow, this is incredible. Surely it's got to be a good thing. Mm. But then you're playing on the other side. You're going, well, why have I not been voted out? Why? I didn't understand it. I didn't get it at all. I think the thing where I really did start getting a bit shocked and the point where is this a big joke is when I was up against Bubble because I, that was the first week that I really prepared myself in my head to go. Bubble was three to one on to... He was second favourite to win the whole thing. You, that week you were eight to one on with the bookmakers as it to, to be evicted out. To be so evicted, you put right, eight sure. pounds, you, meet, you, you get one Yeah, back. right, yeah, yeah. So it was such an upset. But in there, those odds actually seemed quite small. For me in there, the odds were much bigger than that for mm. me to go out. That's okay. the way it seems. Uh, now, last week you noticed a new voice in the Big Brother house, right? Uh, let's just take a look <laughs> at that. This is Big Brother. Would someone please come to the diary room? Who is that? That's a, that's a new oh, voice. That sounds quite scary. That sounds quite serious. Hello. Hello, Paul. You're right. The note and the balls you found on the chair... Yep. ...are a challenge for the housemates this evening. Cool. Could you please call the group together? I can. Read it aloud in the boys' bedroom... Yeah. ...and remain in there until Big Brother has told you to leave. No problem. I don't know, that's what it is. He is the godfather! He is juggling the proper big brother. Fantastic he fan. was dead, like, we've never had him before, he like, evil. dead straight down the line. See myself, oh yeah, really, really <laughs> freaky. Me and my mates, actually, we, uh, we, had this, we had this one time when we got on this coach, and at the front of the coach, yeah, me. they had, like, this sunroof, and at the back they had this sunroof. That was sunroof. me! On the, on the, it yeah. was you! Yeah. Who's you on there? Did you, did, did you know? Did you know when... Did I know at the time? Yeah. I had not... I didn't have a clue. Good, because everyone said... I, didn't, I, really didn't, I didn't have a clue. And I, I was practising all week in the office, and everyone said, you just sound really camp. And I went, so I went in there and just uh, had the sternest voice. And I thought, mm, you were so serious, it. Though. It was, Yeah, it was rubbish, wasn't it? You were, you you were too serious. serious. You were too serious. Brian was scared as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Oh, he was so excited. That was good. That. You pulled it off, though. That All right, good. then I can talk to a lovely lady now. Okay, uh, so there. So, anyway, uh, Paul so has so now so had 40 front. hours to recover and get to grips uh, with life in yeah. the real yeah. world uh, once on again. Our talking floor. point today, quite and, simply, uh, is ask Paul, Paul if you get the chance. Give us a call, 870-901-9070. 870-901-9070. After the break, we give Paul the choice of three double call. Yes, you heard me, double call, ladies, to go on a date with. But first, Paul. Paul, 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 Paul. Thank you very yeah. much. To camera two, yeah. would you mind telling us a story, please? Yeah, um, me and my mates, uh, one time, uh, there was this coach and... Uh... <laughs> Hello, welcome to Blinding Day! It's all about you. Uh, the show where one lucky young lad gets the chance to shoot and shrewd with a date for the night. All he has to do is ask a couple of simple questions to three lovely girls. So, let's meet three lovely girls. Mm. Mm. Hello, number one. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name's Rhoda, and I'm Helen's Adam's best friend, and I'm from Cumbran in South Wales. Lovely. Who's Adam? Helen Adams. Oh, lovely. So I thought you said Adam's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wrong show. Helen oh, the big brother house. <laughs> lovely. OK, and uh, what do you do? I'm a dancing teacher. Mm, loving your work. OK, number two, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm from Cardiff. Lovely. And what do you do? I'm a model. Fantastic. Mm. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, lovely number three, what's your name? Where are you from? Um, I'm Keris and I'm from Cardiff. And what do you do, Keris? I'm an international pop star. Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. 
thanks. <laughs> okay, so we've met our three girls. Now let's bring in our man. Please welcome Paul from Reading. <laughs> hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Paul, take a seat down there. Thank How are you, you feeling? All right? I'm all right, mate, yeah. Tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> mm. What have you been up to lately? Everyone knows everything about me, and I don't know anything about anyone else. Mm. So there you go. That's the way we like it. <laughs> OK, Paul, we've got three gorgeous girls for you. You've got your questions there. Two questions uh, to all of them. OK. Say hello to the ladies. Sorry? Say hello to the ladies. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, Paul. How are you? Are you all Hi, double mate. cool? Are you all chilling your boots? Double cool. Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> We're wicked. Chilling the boots. So are they? <laughs> okay. Uh, you've got two questions. Away you go. Your first question, please, Paul, on Blinding Day. Okay, so. ladies. Uh, first question um, to number one. Uh, I like to think of myself that I live my life like an international pop star. A lot of that going around. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And how would you keep up and fit in with my lifestyle? Mm. And that well, is definitely to number one. Mm. Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, you Paul. Hi, you Paul. <laughs> hi, you Paul. As I'm looking in the mirror too much. Um, <laughs> hi, you. What's your name? Uh, my name's um, Rhoda. I'm often nice to told. Meet you. Pardon? Nice to meet you. And you, Paul. I'm Can't really find out the names. That's wrong. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. No, sorry. point deducted. Rhoda. <laughs> point deducted. You're on thin ice now over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm often told that I have film star looks. Lovely. So with you as a pop star and me as a film star, mm. our evening out will be, Paul, full of stuff headlines are made of. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Sounds very good. Love the wood. You should Rah. love the wood. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, and to number two, please. What is national pop star? Gary Barlow? Ooh. <laughs> don't think, I don't think I like number two. A no, little bit, a little bit, bit catty. Wow. Uh, we're going to go for number three now. Swiftly on to number three, because number two wasn't good. Well, you might live like a pop star, but I can sing like one. If you choose me, I'll give you a romantic evening of serenading, finished off with a lovely bottle of cider. Oh, cider, yeah, I like cider. Yeah. <laughs> OK, on to question number two, Paul. Question number two. Right, OK, question number two is, my dream is to get married and settle down with a family. <laughs> yeah. What makes you perfect wife material? And that has got to go, definitely not to number two, uh, to number three. <laughs> oh, God, <that's> me. <laughs> I don't have to repeat the question, do I? Um, I hope not. No, no, that's OK. Um, I'd, I'd be hopelessly devoted to you like Sandy in Greece and, oh. and um, be lovely and make you bread and... Um, Look after your dogs and chickens and everything like that. Absolutely. Whatever you want, Paul. Very <laughs> Mother Earth is yeah. the vibe I'm getting there. How, how would you look after the chickens? In stilettos, though. <laughs> you look after the chickens in stilettos? Yeah. Yes. What, is that so you don't get the chicken yes, thorn in your Yes, exactly. Feet? exactly. Right. And, and okay. you erect the lawn at the same time, then. Got yeah. So okay. you can Mother Earth is style, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, OK, so same question two, number one, please. Oh, hi. I'd be a doting wife, so after 24 hours of intimate affection, I'll go and get you a six pack and a large stuffed crust pizza and bring it to you in bed. That sounds mm. really, really good. I can smell the pizza, that's great. Okay, <laughs> and uh, to number two. I won't say that, will I? Yeah, number two, please. And <laughs> I don't would be make so the... catty this time. <laughs> <laughs> I would make the perfect wife and men because I already have five kids and two husbands. So third time lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, if you've already got five kids, I can't go on a date with you because I'm going to get in trouble and I don't do things like that. She's all right. She's all the way from the state of Utah. It's not a problem. Uh, right. <laughs> OK, so uh, well, you've got some cracking answers there. OK. It's time nice. to make a decision, if that's right. Before you do that, let me give you a little reminder about our three girls. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Thanks. Is it film star number one who wants to get uh, on the front pages with you and uh, get under the covers with you also? Is it sarcastic number two who uh, might not make you bread but would love a bun in the oven? <laughs> or number three who will serenade you and always be by your side? Uh, the choice is yours. OK, Mr O'Leary. Mm -hmm. Process of elimination. Mm. Not number two. Not we don't like number two. <gasps> but it is a toss-up between number one and number three. Yeah. What's your instinct telling you? My instinct, instinct is everything, reason is nothing. My instinct is telling me the one that's closest to me. How about that? Who is number, number one? Number one! 
Well, well, well. She's a was lovely that, girl. Was that a good choice? She's a lovely girl. They're all she? good choices, in my opinion. But let's see who you turned down. How <laughs> could you? Okay, you turned down Amanda from Cardiff. Come in, Amanda. Yeah. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Hello. Sorry, Thank you, Amanda. Sorry. I've got to do that. Isn't she I? lovely. Yeah. She is lovely. She's Sorry, very attractive. Amanda. Yeah. Oh. You also turned down. You say yourself you're a bit of an international pop star. You also turn down international pop star number three, Keris from Cardiff. Come in, Keris. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm very sweaty. She's got a voice of an angel. You really have. No, it's lovely to meet you, and I hope you have a lovely date. I'm gutted. I'm totally gutted. It's fantastic to meet you as well. Absolutely well fantastic. <laughs> Live that was, that I know. was uh, a bit mad. So yeah. you picked on your blinding date. I'm sure, I'm sure that's one, I'm sure that's... Weirdly enough, <laughs> Elizabeth's best friend from Wales, Rhoda! Hello, you. Oh. How are you? you in your boots? I am, I am. How are you? Hello, You're right. She's cool. I promise Lovely you. Girl. Off Honestly. you go on your lovely yeah. blinding date. Sure. We've got to go and wave. Have a, okay. a bit of a wave. Cheers, girl. Yeah. Oh, Again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Now we know that Paul Larkins is live started out of an international pop star. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> well, let's ask one. Lovely Kerry from Catatonia. Hello, Kerry. Hello, it's lovely to be here. Oh, I've been watching every, every week. Good <laughs> to have you here. Yeah, and um, I'm Paul's biggest fan, you see. Are you? Second to Helen. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been saying for weeks now that all the tabloid stuff is rubbish and, and it's like pure nice person and you can see it in their eyes and, you know, we just give them a chance because it doesn't want to make it a big hoo-ha, in it? In the public eye and things like that, so... She did. She came on T4 last week. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank um, you. Thank you. No, no. So, so just, what, what do you make of the flirting then? Well, I just think that, to be honest, I just want to say thank you for all the people in the house for giving us all such entertainment because it must be pure hard thing to do and, and you know, to have this sort of... Because at some, some points you're kind of thinking, am I being a peeping Tom, you know? Mm. I mean, it's just kind of, you question yourself, but it's just it was pure entertainment, or still is. Mm. But thank you for that. How much do you get the impression that people are, are watching you? Obviously, with the whole mirrors thing, that just <laughs> Demons! <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's, been fun. It's, it's, it's been funny for us. It has been fun, but... You, you always are aware the cameras are there, mm -hmm. but you do forget to an extent. Watch um, out, your hair's, your hair's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Oh, no, hang on, no, no. Helen was you always picking like bits of <laughs> fluff out of it. I don't see why, why you need to take some... Mind you, look, look at who am I to say about hair. Mind a disgrace, sorry. But no, no, it's lovely, isn't it? I was in the middle of asking that question. What? Oh, sorry, <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't sorry. worry, Jake. You're going to go off him now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, it, it, was, it was very, very strange. Um, and I think as time went on, as sort of the Helen me thing went on, uh, the more and more I felt that they were invading my privacy. And obviously I signed up for it and that was, that was fair enough. Uh, but as I started getting feelings for someone, I didn't want everyone seeing those feelings. Um, I wanted them for me and... At least not until you were under the cover. <laughs> until <laughs> I was under the cover. Yeah, that was a funny bit when you see the hand. <laughs> There's some movement underneath it. But... If you were locked away for eight weeks, uh, Keris, who, who would you like to cuddle up in a den with? Um, Bob Dylan. Not to cuddle, I mean, yes, to cuddle up, but no, no, no like, That's stuff. That's business with Dylan? <laughs> no, but, but guitar, I'd have to nick Dean's guitar, sorry, Dean, I'd have to nick his guitar and I'd hopefully have to... Would you have to, nick uh, it and beat and him around it the head with it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's not about falling down, it's about reaching the ground. Is that your song? With a man and the moon. Is that your song? It was, wasn't it, about <gasps> falling on the ground, how did it go? It's not, oh, come on, he sang it every day. <laughs> And it was something about falling down. Oh, um, da, 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 yeah. Mm. You don't nah, remember it, do you? I, remember, I, I know more than you, my God. Do you, just... <laughs> do, you, do, you like, do you like Dean singing? Um, Dean, do I like a singer? I really enjoyed the um, sing song. There was a yeah. massive sing song. God, what was it, about a week and a half or two weeks ago or something? Mm. Helen can't sing for life, can she? She can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> she can't sing. She cannot sing. And it was just really funny, really funny. And they're singing like um, Wonderwall and all the rest of it. And mm. oh, there's some stereophonics as well, yeah. they sang, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was quite funny. So were you surprised that uh, the boy Clark, he got kicked out? Mr Clark? Um, no, because I, we'd all kind of figured out with the nominations, you know, with Helen and Dean and then um, Paul and Helen and then Brian in the middle, how it could go, possibly go. Mm. So it was all on Paul, really. Oh, no, 
dry it was and dry, wasn't it? Yeah. It so was. I know, kind, kind of, I think everyone kind of figured it out, which makes it kind of to be pure mercenary about it, good viewing, compulsive viewing even more. Like, mm. yeah. sorry, but, you know. But, no, no, yeah. But um, no, it's, it's just been great. I think. Was that, was that, that must have been quite strange. When you obviously you all knew Brian. I was crying my eyes Casting out. vote, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, we we did. I mean, I knew that Dean and Elizabeth were gonna vote for us. Yeah. It was as simple as that, and it yeah. was it was was all on Brian's shoulders. Yeah. Um, but I said to Helen show away that it's going to be us too. Um, and we'd always said that all the way through. Wouldn't it be strange mm. if it was well, us? Poor Brian was crying off the back of it, didn't he? Well, I was crying. I was crying when you Were left you? the house. I was absolutely pouring with tears. Bless you. <laughs> what, are you crying when he left the house? I mean, because of, of Helen's face and when you were so excited and when you saw your family. And, and I'm just trying to think, you cannot even believe how little bit, how, how it must feel. Yeah. And to be go bang into the middle of all these cameras and media and all the circus. And I was like, oh my God. And then Helen's face when you'd left. And it's, sorry. She, she, I feel she, funny. But that's, but that's why, I mean, that's why I had a lump in my throat um, until this morning. And, you know, it's just want to cry yeah. ever since because too much has happened. Uh, I, you know, a normal guy walking into the house, then you're in like a vacuum of dream for two months and then yeah, you walk out again. It's a long time. And everything maybe. you once knew isn't the same anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's that's hard. That was really strange. And you really haven't strange. seen Bubble or I any haven't of the seen others. anyone as yet, no. Uh, um, I'm, looking for, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone, though. Yeah, it'd be lovely. I think because um, I saw Bubble on one of the other programmes, and I think they're all looking forward to the party yeah. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, if, if you'd have been in the house, <laughs> hello. If you'd have been in the house, uh, <laughs> how long would you last, did you think? I, I don't think I could have lasted a minute, to be honest. I'd have yeah. been in floods. I'd not have been floods. Would you have walked out or did you stuck it in? I was hoping you were going to elope. I was going, go on, go on, leave, 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 leave the house, hand in hand, just mm -hmm. leave. Are they allowed to, are you allowed yeah. to leave? They yeah. can walk yeah, out and you they want. Yeah, no, anyway, sorry, um, no, I wouldn't have lasted a minute. I don't think I could have, because, unless I was allowed to keep a little, like, corner for a bit of kitchen gardening. Yeah. And I said, because, it wasn't, who was it? Was it you that was saying they'd taken seed potatoes? Don't think so. No, I'm trying to grow potatoes. <laughs> You're trying to grow house, potatoes. Like, okay, so everyone from Wales is funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Lovely. And no, you'd have to have some solitude, don't you? But it's small. I haven't actually been to see it. I mean, I've just seen it from a distance. Well, Dean but goes to the den a lot. It's, yeah, does he? Mm, it's yeah. just to be on your own and things like that, is it? Would you have walked out or do you think you got nominated? Nominated, probably. Really? Yeah, on probably for singing all the time. I'm <laughs> in and singing. Dean's got down to the last Dean's four. Dean's got yeah, say your last <laughs> Karis, thank you very much. Lastly, who do you think is going to win? I hope it's going to be... Um, I, I, I just... I, Brian's been lovely, yeah. and when he was on the space shop, it was one of the funniest things, but I just absolutely think Helen's an absolute star, but she's won already, in my eyes. <laughs> and I just went, she oh. had, she, she had. <laughs> I think everyone did, though. I think everyone has, in a sense, because yeah. everyone's got a lot and out of it. And I just want to say thank you. Yeah. I've been looking at the heart of the world. Look after yourself. Guys, thank you very much. It's been an absolute diamond, Gareth. OK, time now to hear what you think out there uh, about the housemates. It's the amazing travelling die room chair. <laughs> Paul, you said before you're going to die, you want to have a family. F find a lovely wife and have kids. It would be absolutely fantastic if there were little Pauls and Helens running around saying... Wicked. <laughs> wicked. Oh, wicked. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It looks God. like a good look. Helen, when you are eating that sausage... Uh... <laughs> Please close the mouth. You're going to swallow the whole world. <laughs> Paul, what's this about? Clicking your fingers like you're the Fonz or something? Talking in your sleep? You only do that to practice what to say the next day. What are you actually doing now, Josh? Please explain. Helen is really dense, but she's so sweet. I can't tell her by the Helen. I feel for you, baby. This is more skill than anything, guys. Imagine doing that on live TV. It's awful. It's cruel. I'll pause it for a sec. No, I'm just getting it. Get lost. Mr. Arrogant has got to go, and I will tell you why. I have travelled so much, right? You've got to see my travelling, right? Motorways, loving. I've gone for the hard um, shoulder approach, so I'm whacking it down the hard shoulder, and uh, got onto the slip road to come off for uh, Heathrow. Mm -hmm. All I am saying, it was a red light. That's all it was, not an amber light, not a green light, a red light. Cut long story short, got another ticket. I was flying out the next morning, but I had to go via Oslo. Helen, the porridge princess. I have cooked a meal by myself. If you stopped eating porridge so much, I think you'd fit into your eviction dress. It does fit, but it does feel a little bit snug. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, people. 
Hello. They'll hear us and I'll get in trouble. It's time for Super Fan Quiz, Super Fan Quiz, Super Fan Quiz. Super Fan Quiz. They watch all the time, they really do know. Yes, indeed, last chance to learn the switch for Super Fans. Just one more chance to pick your wits against the newest of Vic T. Delighted to be joined by our fan, Claire. Hello, Claire. Hiya. Why are you Big Brother's biggest fan? I um, just really love it since it started. Mm. Just watched it as much as I can. Just How many hours really a day? You a 24-7 girl? Or? Um, I can watch it at work, but without the sound. So it's on all day at work. Lovely. And get home, watch it on uh, E4. <laughs> You're nice. a demographic. <laughs> OK, uh, now he's of course rumpus in the den, keeps us up at night watching his nocturnal activities with Helen. You are up against Paul. There is a sound delay there. OK, the rules are simple. Got four rounds buzzing when you know the answer. The winner gets a genuine pair of Paul boxes. Oh, my God. Wash them before nice. you wear them. OK, <laughs> let's get cracking. Um, first round, quite simply, uh, what happened next? Before we do that, I just want to test your buzzers. Good, they sound exactly the same. <laughs> OK, first up, what happened next? Brian's looking for demons when... What happens next? Do you see in this room? Yeah. What happened next? Somebody runs and... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> somebody, what happened? Somebody runs and touches him and he does that real big squeal of his. Mm, no. Don't think I can accept that, can I? No. <laughs> I think I rugby tackled him down onto the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where was that? Give like, boxer shorts. Let's see what happened next. Check for demons. Quick, quick check for demons. Well, what do you see in this room? Yeah. Demon location. Oh, 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 Helen came and leathered you with a big pillow. Was that the one with my the ear one? No, it yeah. wasn't. Was that the ear yeah, one? Yeah, when, when ah. she said sorry okay. about oh, it. Oh, you're filming it now, aren't you? <laughs> you can get it right a second ago. OK, next up, all the housemates are in the jacuzzi. But what happened next? Who was that? Spin me again. Uh, the one when, like, the snot come out of her nose. Ew. <laughs> OK, uh, let's see if you're right, Paul. Bear in mind, this might have some effect on Helen's attraction towards you. <laughs> no, you <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <she's one. laughs> I did not see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're oh, waiting you for her when she comes out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, the end of the first round. Uh, look, Claire's got one point. Congratulations. Pablo, honey, you've got nothing. <laughs> no, don't clap yet. She's won the battle, but not the war. <laughs> uh, we continue. Uh, general knowledge, 10 questions. Uh, just buzz in as soon as you know. OK, <clears throat> what subject did Penny used to teach? English. English is correct. Uh, which housemate is a member of the Wigfield Fan Club? <laughs> Helen. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> she? What's that? Wigfield. Wigfield, Saturday night. Oh, we are, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, whose nickname is Bambi? Cool. Brian. Yes. <laughs> he, he got it first. <laughs> How many mannequins were placed in the garden for the first day task? Uh, there were four. Four is the right answer. Who accidentally dropped their microphone in the toilet? Yes. Elizabeth. No. Emma. No. It was Penny. Oh, it's Penny. <laughs> it was Penny. It was Penny. Because <laughs> you're so hard to tell them <laughs> apart. OK, what ball game did the housemates play most often? Oh, who was that? That was... Oh. No, definitely. I've got a ball in my ear. No, OK, volleyball. <laughs> 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 Who got stroppy and thought uh, the teaching old dog new tricks task was unfair? That was Brian. Brian? No. Dean. Dean is right. OK. What special thing did Bubble do for Elizabeth on her birthday? Did Bubble do for Elizabeth? He well, made in pebbles a poem. A rock a poem. Lovely. OK. Very, Last very question. How old is Dean? That was you. 37. He is indeed 37. I've been told I've only done nine questions, even though I believe <laughs> I've actually done <laughs> ten. OK. We'll do another one right now. Uh, what's, Bu what's Bubble's daughter called? Briny. Briny is correct answer. OK, congratulations at the end of that round. Oh, it's oh, five apiece. Oh, even that Stevens. is interesting. OK, uh, our next round is quite simply called What Are They Talking About? You have to uh, find out from our clips who the guests are talking, who our uh, contestants are talking about. Let's take a look. Who are they talking about? I was thinking, what are they talking about? I didn't, I swear to God, I didn't know. Tell Did her, I didn't know she was mad. I didn't know. I had no idea. Who's that? Uh, yeah, that, that's so got me Penny. It is indeed Penny. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, next up, uh, Elizabeth. Who is Elizabeth talking about? 
she kind of slops around the flip flop. She's quite slow to react like sometimes. Mm, very, very clumsy. Which she didn't do, which yeah. I thought was good. Which, not, I don't know, yeah. And I thought, well, what else is there? But as soon as I started asking people, Loads people sent things. things, she got so offended. I thought it was Helen. No. Um, that's so uh, it's got to be Amma because of, of the flip flops. Clarky is on fire. Okay, then a uh, bonus point right now. Whose body part is this? Take a look. Paul. Let's take a look. Oh. No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Very what strong. A horrible photo. Very strong. <laughs> Very strong. Okay, okay, the end of that round <laughs> and our uh, penultimate round. Uh, Paul's on seven. Claire is on six. Hey. <laughs> They have not got a clue what they're applauding about, which is what I love. OK, last up uh, today, our general knowledge round. Quite simply, you get a minute on the clock, have to answer as many questions as you possibly can within the minute, obviously, correctly. Can we have a minute on the clock, please? Starting from now. Who is renowned for burping and farting? Yes. Emma. Emma is correct. OK, what football team does Dean support? Birmingham. Birmingham is correct. What was the name of the dog that went into Big Brother? Paddy. Oh, that's strong. Uh, who was photographed in the Big Brother calendar holding a chicken? Bubble. Yes. Uh, name, the, name the chicken that died. Zena. No. No, it's Princess oh. Leia. Princess Leia Princess? is correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which task did Bubble hit his ankle running to do? Dance task. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, in the dance task, who had to uh, bump and grind? Amma. Amma is correct. Okay, what alternative vegetable did they use during the apple bobbing game? Oranges. No. Huh? Alternative vegetable. The alternative oh. vegetable? <laughs> I'm not going to say no, banana. No, <laughs> I'm sure it was. Clues in alternative potato. vegetables. Potato. Potato oh, is yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what did Elizabeth <laughs> badly cut her finger on? A uh, sard, tin of sardine. Yes, candy. indeed, a tin of sardine. <laughs> uh, what did the doctor have to do with it? What did the doctor do? Had to put one stitch in. He put a stitch in it. Uh, who? The two nicknames are called Elizabeth. Uh, nicknames for Elizabeth are are Betty. <laughs> yeah. And uh, mum, 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 mum. No, it's Betty and Liz. Okay, the Betty final scores. It doesn't matter anyway because Paul, you are our winner today with 13 points Yay. to 10. Thank you, Mr. Oh, you're yeah, to win back. Oh, lovely. You have to put them back well, on, innit? If you would, we can do that during the break. But if you would. Just tell us a story, maybe about these boxer shorts, the camera one. About these boxer shorts? Uh, actually, I'd rather tell a story about me and my mates, yeah, uh, when I was at school, we basically had a piece of kryptonite, okay? <laughs> Time to glam up this gallery chat, so delighted to be joined by the very glamorous Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Dermot. How are you? All right. Very well. Lovely. How are you? Okay. Uh, let's get cracking. Post eviction. How is everyone now? Paul's gone. The, the one thing we always pick up from the, the from the weekends is a kind of a, a bit despondent when when the, the the person leaves. They're not too bad actually. Helen is obviously missing Paul. She. Um, she had a bad way on Friday night, didn't she? she uh, yeah, she did. She did have a bit of. A, well, she was okay actually. She did visit the den and then she did sleep in Paul's bed. And she um, was sniffing his pillow, so she's obviously missing him quite badly. <laughs> but uh, the rest of the housemates, they're okay because this is now the final week and they can see the sort of like, you know, the ends in sight and uh, they're feeling okay actually. Are they a bit demob happy now? Um, not too bad. They're not, they're not overexcited. There's a, there's a kind of general calmness uh, about them, but mm. um, they don't seem to be upset. They seem to be quite on an, an even keel. Let's talk about this new task. Mm. Tell us about that. Well, they have been in the house now for um, eight weeks and we wanted to find out from them how much they knew about each other in those eight weeks. So yesterday they were set the task of speaking to each other, uh, finding out as much as they could about their childhood and then Big Brother tested them on that. Um, they found they, that easy? Um, talking about it? They did, yeah, cause it was, they, they, they said some uh, kind of funny stories from their childhoods, what mm. schools they went to and uh, that kind of thing. And uh, then they were tested, but obviously they didn't know what the questions were going to be. So in some cases they guessed the answer and they guessed correctly. So it did prove that they had got to know each other cool. quite well. So they, have they passed that task? They did pass. Oh, excellent. And Look, they were rewarded with a children's party with um, balloons and uh, cakes and fizzy pop and uh, face paints and things like oh, that. Thanks a lot, Wendy. Appreciate yeah. your time. Okay, well, no one there. <laughs> okay, okay. That wasn't just a flick around the kid to entertain. How enthralling must that chat have been? Uh, Paul has uh, made just laugh throughout the eight weeks in the house. Here are some of his best moments. Thank you. The housemates nominated to leave the Big Brother House are Paul, 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 and Paul. So where are you going tonight, Paul? Where are we going tonight? I'm taking out this girl, this yeah. blonde girl, who apparently is a bit easy, my mate said, so 
he considered that we should get together and just sort of see what happens, go with the flow. Yeah, I do fancy Helen. Big G so gonna kill you! That's pretty sexy. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, you're cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 Yeah. Wicked. Wicked. Cool. Cool. Chill your boots. That sounds really weird, but for me, it was the most unbelievable thing ever. So I'd just like to say that I now feel privileged to be possibly one of the luckiest no. people in the country. <laughs> right, don't worry. Hello, everybody. Uh, lovely. That was nice, wasn't it? It was good. That was good fun. Our talking point today, question we asked Paul. I'd like to that Keris is still here with us. Richard, you can get up now, don't worry. Off you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's You've got six on this. The Magis programme ever. Do you know that, Emma? Is it? It's the Magis programme. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I have. Oh, tough. <laughs> Took a bit of a chance there. Yeah, crazy cuckoo. OK, uh, today's talking point, Ask Paul, we should have Jonathan on the line. Hello, Jonathan. Hi. How are you? OK, thanks. Excellent. Yeah. You're from St Ives. Uh, and your talking point today would be what, Asking Paul? Yeah, I'd like to know, what would you do, Paul, if you came face to face with Big G, and what would you say to him? Hiya, Jonathan. Um, if I came face to face with Big G, um, in all fairness, I'd I don't want it to happen. Um, I don't want it to happen until Helen's out of the house anyway. Uh, I think it's important that Helen uh, speaks to him first, um, and that's what I always wanted. I wanted um, her to sort out her differences with him. Um, so obviously, it was from her side and you know from his side, there was a lot that going on out here that we didn't know. Um, tell me if I'm rambling, because I like telling a story. But, um, well, what if it like, if, what, if had been here on Friday night, how would you have approached it? Because were you worried about him being here? Of course Friday? I was, yeah. I was well worried about meeting him. Um, I didn't want anything to kick off. Um, I felt it was unnecessary um, because purely he didn't understand the situation in there and I didn't understand the situation out here. I tried to put myself in his boots um, as much as I could. So that, and that's exactly why I backed off from Helen. In, in the, you know, as you got to the closing stages, handy? it was really, really hard. Are you quite handy with your own? <laughs> quite tasty. I don't, think it, I don't think it really matters, does it? It's kind of like yeah. if it was a kick-off, it's in the size it of it. It does in Reading on a Friday night. night. If, it, if it hits me square, it's going to hurt. <laughs> OK. So. Joe from Aylesbury. Thank hello, you, Jonathan. Joe. Hello, hello, Dermot, hello, Keris, hello, Paul. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> hello. Right, my question. If you won a week's holiday on a desert island, who would you take and why? You wouldn't want to go to a desert island with all the cameras there. <laughs> Overrated. Um... <laughs> I, t I would take Paul and Helen, I think I would, and Dermot. Paul and Helen and Dermot, I think we'd have a great laugh. What about you, Paul? Um, can I just take Helen on my own, is that oh, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Good answer. This show and then if I can't take her, I'll take... The man beside me. Really? And <laughs> really, the man really would be sloppy second. <laughs> <laughs> this show's making me feel all warm inside today, I tell you. OK, now, uh, Claire from Leeds. Hello, Claire. Hi, Dermot. Hi, Claire. Hi, Paul. Hiya. Hi. Um, I was wondering um, how you're coping with um, all the media attention, especially the papers. Um, I don't know whether I like it um, as yet, in all fairness. Uh, it's very, very strange and been very emotional for me. I think the worst thing was last night when I saw Big Brother on TV for the first time. Uh, that was very, very strange and I'd done a lot of crying last night because it was weird to see me with Helen on TV when I was sitting on the bed with my mates. If you can kind of see that, it's all mixed emotions, uh, very, very strange. It's strange that people call your name out and <laughs> that I haven't quite got yet and I don't quite understand. I think there's a lot I don't understand. With the, with um, the newspaper stuff, are you resigned to the fact that that's, that's going to be how it is this week? Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that's the way it's going to be. Um, and I think you just got to take it as being fun and just carry, carry on with it, and that's what I'm going to do. That's the best way to combat it. But I've been through so many emotions in the house. There was, like, so many weeks for nomination, having emotions about Helen, you know, the fun with Penny initially, twisting my ankle. Um, so much happened to me in there. Uh, mm. Bubble going out, um, feeling of rejection sometimes. So it was, like, a tad emotional. Did anything tense. prepare you for for the experience when you, actually, when you actually came out with the papers and so forth and, and seeing all those headlines that Davina showed you on Friday night? No, I never expected the sheer scale of it. Not yeah, in a million years. Yeah, because your face is a picture. Of <laughs> <very> <laughs> it, it, was just two, it was just two people yeah. in a house who liked each other and that was it as far as I was concerned. And then you, you, you come out and it's just mayhem, <laughs> absolute madness. But uh, it's just nice that people were obviously supporting us. Um, which I don't great. even think it was madness. I think it was double madness. <laughs> it was <laughs> uh, Laura from Romford on the line next. Thank you. Hello, Laura. 
Hello. Hello, how are you? Hiya. I'm fine, thank you. You look somewhat you? shocked to be speaking to us, or you, you sound somewhat shocked to be speaking to us. I am. I've been trying to speak to Paul for ages. Oh, oh. Well, you can now. Thank you. Hello, Paul. Hiya, Hello. you're all right. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Good, good. Paul, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Right, in the house, you said you liked Essex girls. <laughs> yes, now, yes. Um, purely because I lived in Essex for just over two years yeah. um, with some friends and the times I had were incredible. Uh, everyone in Essex just... <laughs> Where about in Essex did you live? Um, just in Wickford, ah. near Basildon. Yeah, and, the jewel uh, of Essex. Yeah, and so, you know, I went down Festival Leisure Park quite a bit and had a lot of fun down there and just met some incredible people and everyone on a Friday and Saturday night down there just knows how to have a good time. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as that, you can't not have a good time down there. So, yeah, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Have you been to Festival Leisure Park? Laura, um, yeah. whereabouts are you from in Essex? Romford. She's a Romford girl. Yeah. Romford. You don't mess around with Romford girls. No, you don't. I know that, Laura. <laughs> I've been down the dog don't track. Go there. Don't worry about that. I know mm. you girls. Listen, let me ask you this. If, if you, have you got a question? Would you like to ask Paul out maybe down Romford? Yeah, that'd be great. That would be great. Cool. I will definitely, I will say one thing, I'm definitely going to be going um, to Essex to have a night out in Festival Lodge Park. No doubt about it because... So just hang around there and you'll of, see him. That's a big part of my life, a big part of my life and I want to go back there because I've got some good friends in the area, so... Okay, very quickly we've got definitely. Steph on the line Thank from you. Somerset. Hi Steph. Hi, hi, hi yeah. Paul, hi Dermot. Hi yeah, Steph. We've only got about 30 seconds Steph, so I'll ask away. Okay, my daughter and I, Alex, she wants to know how many UFOs have you seen in your life? Yeah. Sorry, so how many how many UFOs have you seen in your life? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have definitely seen uh, one UFO in my life, and that was in the Big Brother house. And I think, <laughs> I don't know whether you saw it, I don't know what else you were talking about, but I think it was a shooting star. And uh, when I saw it, I made a wish. Because I had to. Mate, thank and you very much. You're with us all week, Keris. Thank, thank you very you. much. Uh, tomorrow Cheers. we're joined by Shane Ritchie and Gail Porter on the same bill. Ladies, thank you very much. I've been loving your work immensely. Uh, Paul, you've been a diamond. Thank and you. we'll see Cheers. you later on the week. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Like the fella in the whistle said, Little Brother returns tomorrow night at the same time. But before that, we'll have more live coverage of our final four tonight from 10 to 1. But coming up next, the first episode of a show all about a skinny lawyer who can't get anyone to marry her. It probably won't catch on, but see what you think. Oh, it's called Ali McBeal, by the way.